Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. So for today's video, I'm going to give you a tour of a new Grand Design Imagine Travel Trailer. We're a family of five, so I'll show you where we all are going to sleep and all the different storage compartments and everything with it. I'm super excited that we're going to have this trailer now to take the kids out camping and not to sleep on the ground or an air mattress that deflates or our stuff's not going to get wet either. So if you do enjoy today's video, please give a thumbs up. And if you do enjoy today's video, along with other content you see here on my channel, I would love if you consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. So don't forget that red subscribe button and the notification bell so miss any future videos from me. Now let's take you on a tour of this fabulous trailer. So this is the very front of the trailer. Our batteries are stored behind the propane tank. This is the cover for the propane tanks. And then this jack is electronic. So you just have to push a button to retract and extend it. So it's super easy to use when you're hooking up and unhooking the trailer. And there's also a light, so if you're hooking up or unhooking in the dark, you can see what you're doing. There is also an awning that goes from the door all the way to the back of the trailer, so that gives us really good coverage, but I can't open it right now because we're too close to the trees. Our hot water tank is in the back here, and then there's a ladder that we can access the roof if we ever have to go up there and check for anything. We plug in the electrical cord on the back, and then the side is where we fill up our fresh water. I love how easy these stairs are to bring down and they're really solid as well. So when we first walk in, on the left hand side we have this awesome boot storage and shoe storage. It's actually quite deep, we can fit two rows of shoes and the kids boots fit under there oddly enough. On our right is our couch which also turns into a bed, it's a Murphy bed. So I'll show you that a little bit later. We have a TV, which we can only use when we have full hookups, so we won't use that very often. There's a cup holder here in, in the couch so that if we're, you know, we're sitting there, we have somewhere to put our drinks if we want to. There's tons of stores. These drawers underneath is where we put the kids' clothes. Then on either side of the bedside table, we have a cupboard here, which I put kids' books and stuff in on one side and notebooks and stuff on the other side. And then these drawers I use for our clothes. And then we have a closet on each side as well. So we had my daughter's and my stuff on one side and my husband's and the boy's stuff hanging up on the other side. And then I threw in some bins as well, which I'll show you in a future video, um, to put hats and stuff like that. Here's the storage I'm going to be putting all of our dishes and cups and mugs in. About the microwave, there's this little storage area. There's only a little bit of a lip, so I wouldn't put anything up there. Maybe saran wrap, aluminum foil, that sort of thing. We do have a microwave, but we have to be hooked up to full hookups or to our generator to use it, so we probably won't use it very often. I'll probably put bread in it. Um, then here we have a nice glass top to cover and protect our stove when we're not using it. And it's a three burner gas stove, really easy to use. I really quite like it. And you can lay up these knobs as well, just to add a little ambiance if you want or whatever. And there's also an oven, which will be quite handy if we ever want to, you know, make chicken nuggets when we're out of town. Or when I was a kid, my mom used to make brownies when we were camping. So that was a nice bonus. There's a nice big drawer under here for pots and pans. So that's going to be really nice to have as well. There's one big sink in here, which I absolutely love. I don't like the trailers that have the two smaller sinks because they don't fit very much in them. You can also pull down the nozzle, there's a sprayer as well, which is awesome. And then here's this rolling mat that you can put your vegetables on to spray them, or you can put a cutting board on top of it if you want a bit of an extra prep space. I love the looks of the counters and all the finishes of the cupboards. I just think it looks really, really nice. So down here, I have three additional drawers, so I can put a lot of cutlery in there, knives, cooking utensils, and that sort of thing in here. And then below the sink, we do have a cupboard with a shelf, so I plan on putting maybe games and uh, some toys down there, and then some baking pans and that sort of thing under the sink. And then just above this, there's also a bit of a spice rack, so you can put some spices and stuff in there as well. And then we have a nice big fridge. It's an eight cubic foot fridge. So it's a decent sized fridge and freezer. So there are definitely more than enough room for us to store all our food when we're camping. This. 
To the left of the fridge, there's a decent sized pantry, tons of storage, lots of height as well for taller bottles and things. So this will be good for us for our food storage. So on the opposite side of the kitchen, we have our banquette. So this table is on hydraulics, so you just open these two, pull these two levers back, and then you can push the table down, move the cushions, and put the cushions on there to make it a bed. There's some cupboards above the table as well for lots of storage. So definitely lots of storage options. I'm actually quite surprised by this trailer, the amount of storage. This is the upper bunk. That back window is our emergency exit, so they do get two windows in the top bunk. There's also a light here as well as two USB ports and I have to say there are tons of power outlets, USB charging ports in the trailer. I'm quite impressed. Then this bottom bunk just has the one window but again it's super comfortable. My kids say it's actually really comfortable. Under the bunk beds there's this great storage. I plan on putting lots in there and definitely maxing out the storage. They have some curtains here for some privacy for the kids in the bunk bed which I think is really great. Beside the bunk beds is the bathroom and I'm actually quite impressed with the size of it considering the size of the trailer. So we have our toilet, we have this towel storage here so I plan on rolling up my towels and cloths and everything and store them here. We have a couple hooks on the wall as well, a decent sized shower with a skylight. I plan on mostly storing rubber boots and beach toys and stuff in here. Um, but it's a decent sized shower if we did want to use the shower. There's a couple of great shelves here to put bottles of shampoo, conditioner, soap and that sort of thing. Under here, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I definitely want to put some type of drawers or bins or something under there. There's a sink, and then we have this medicine cabinet above here. So this bathroom actually has a surprising amount of storage. I was actually quite impressed. And then we have this huge window. There is a blind, so if you need some privacy, but I love the natural light it brings in. So that's really great. I'm actually overall really impressed with this bathroom at the storage. So I'm going to show you the Murphy bed. As you can see, it's really easy to set up and this is one of the main reasons we purchased this particular trailer because we wanted to not have a super long trailer and this allowed us to have a trailer that wasn't overly long but give us a decent bed to sleep on. So there's this blue light that I to have for ambiance, I guess. I don't really know. And then above our bed is a bit of a shelf. So I'm going to put like blankets and stuff up there. Nothing too heavy but stuff that's easily storable up there. And then we have some reading lights above each of our size of the bed so that'll be really handy and then beside each of our beds we have these cubbies so we can put our phones our glasses a book if we want in the evening plus there's some usb chargers and power outlets so that's really nice as well the murphy bed is also super easy to put away so once we get up in the morning we can put the bed away and then we have more space and then we also have a couch as well so this is our pass-through storage at the front of the trailer I absolutely love it. It goes all the way through, plus our tanks are also in here as well. So there's lots that we can put under here. We ha we can fill this up with, you know, the tools that we need to bring with us, as well as any rope and tarps, our green mat for outside, and any things that are specifically for outside of the trailer. Here's where like our water hookup is, a cable hookup if we're at full hookups, as well as our. Um, battery power to turn them on and off if we're storing it for a long period of time so all those things are stored under there on this side there's a place we can stick a garden hose in just to fill up our fresh water tank and then over here is our outdoor kitchen which i absolutely love there's plenty of storage there's this little fridge that we're going to use to put drinks in so we'll cool it down before we leave and then we'll just use a large ice packs so that we'll rotate in to keep our pop and alcohol and that sort of thing in there and then so we'll take it away from having to be in the inside fridge and then we have this great compartment here i'm going to think i'm going to put bins or something in here with a light there's also a power outlet if you want to plug in a toaster or a coffee maker or something as well if you have full hookups and then we have our outdoor stove which is super handy because we honestly love cooking outside we don't plan on doing a lot of cooking inside we have a barbecue as well so this would be really great to have to be able to cook outside and be outside with the kids not to hide in the trailer to, to cook all our meals and there's a gas line that comes down and connects under the trailer through a quick connect so it's super easy to connect and then we just disconnect it when we want to put the stove away. 
Alright, so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed having a tour of our new travel trailer. We're a family of five, so this is going to honestly work perfect for us. It's not too long, and it will carry everything that we need and sleep all of us comfortably. If you did enjoy today's video, please give a thumbs up. If you enjoyed today's video, along with other content you see here on my channel, I would love if you consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. So don't forget that red subscribe button and the notification bell so you miss any future videos for me. And stay tuned. I will be sure to give you guys a tour of the trailer once I have it a bit more organized, because it's going to take me a few weeks to kind of figure out where I want things. I might move things around, but I'll be sure to show you guys after I have it organized how I like it, so you can get some ideas if you're getting a trailer of your own and try and figure out where you want to put things. So thanks again so much for clicking on my video today and showing me some support, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!